Hey, this is Kevin with Imagination Hobbies. Coming at you with another video. Something a little different. So, um, I got a couple Athena Owl Tetradrachms. So, or Tetradrams, however you want to say it. <clears throat> and I initially just wanted to purchase one. But I could not pick. I wanted a really good owl. And I found one that had a pretty good owl on the back. <clears throat> and a pretty good um, obverse, too. So I started looking at this one initially. As you can see, this has a pretty crisp obverse. Um, <clears throat> it was graded uh, AU. Strike, 4 out of 5. Surface, 4 out of 5. So it has really good details that you can view. It almost has a full nose. It's like 99% there. <clears throat> and the crest is pretty nice on this too. I really like the beading effect down here. And I like how it carries down. And so you can see a large amount of Athena's head. And the owl is pretty nice. It's a very clean owl. It has good details. You can see <clears throat> the eyeballs have a little bit of, I don't know, gloss to them, I'd say. Look like they have some, like, you know, some wear on them a little bit. But that was a really nice owl and a pretty good obverse. And so I went with that. <clears throat> and the next day, I went online and I saw this owl and I, and I like this owl so much better. Um, I'll show you them side by side, but I feel like this owl is a little more crisp. Maybe it just had more definition because of the tarnish, slight tarnish. <clears throat> the eyes are bigger though, and it's just a wider overall presence. And I'll show you them side by side so you can kind of get a, an idea. And so the owl on the left, in my opinion, is, is just bigger. Um, stands out a little bit more. Also, the tail feathers here, this owl kind of touched the um, <clears throat> edge of the impression where this one over here has a full full view of it and it even has the e the full e and this one's kind of missing its e um i believe this aoe um which is different in the actual it's not aoe it's something else in the greek alphabet but it means uh, of the athenians i believe or of athens i think it's of the athenians is what it means um this corn was you know, widely circulated is a mainstay coin, like all over the ancient world, um, Greece and all the other Greek related provinces and lands. And so also another thing that stood out to me a little bit about <clears throat> this other tetradram was you just had more details near the top. You had that crest near the top and that last uh, leaf looking uh, ornate piece to her top of her helmet that is missing on the one on the right. And so that kind of filled in uh, for me, you know, the complete <clears throat> details of the coin. So, yeah, I mean, could I got one? coin that was just better than both of these yeah but I, I would have paid more money than both of these coins combined um i got a pretty good deal on these um and and i kind of like the ability to display uh one coin on the side that i like it on so like that i can display one reverse one obverse in my display case and you can kind of see them better. So I'm going to take these out of the little coin capsules I have them in. 
um, try to show you them a little bit closer, so just bear with me while I do that. <clears throat> Both of these were graded at AU, strike 4 out of 5, surface 4 out of 5. Um, so they're kind of identical in, in grading. How are they in hand? Um, I like them both in hand. I like the... Um, i try to get this to focus. I like the, the whiteness of this silver coin over here. And the clean and how just how clean it is. So I really like this one. <clears throat> and then what I like about this one is you get the details near the top that the other coin is missing. So you can get the full picture of what the coin should look like. <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Jeez, if it was perfectly struck, it would look like that. And they both have nice owls on the back. And uh, the, this one right here weighs a little bit less. This one is 17.17 grams. And this one is 17.19. And it's ama it amazes me like how close to this weight that they were able to come like a standardized weight of 17.2, I think is what they were going for. Um, they're all very close to that. <clears throat> now, these did come in NGC capsules. Uh, well, not, I don't know. I don't know if I want to call them capsules. They're slabs, basically. Um, so they came slabbed. <clears throat> and, uh, Yeah, so I, I broke them out because I like to free my coins and like to be able to hold them and to see what it felt like and what it was like in person to hold one of these in your hand. And I took pictures and stuff before I broke them out and, and after they came out. And, you know, I kind of kept a record of that. So if I ever want to sell them, like... You know, it's pretty clear that these are the coins that were in those those slabs. So yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you think. I mean, these are pretty old, uh, as old as forty or four hundred four. I'm sorry, as old as four forty BC. So you know, we're talking twenty four hundred years. So that's kind of crazy to think that this is. 2400 years old in my hand right here and this has like a little you know you see the darkness on his face it has some little spots a little tarnishing or something um appears to be pretty pretty natural <clears throat> and uh i'll even see if i can get you a close up I really liked this owl on the back. I just I couldn't resist this one. And then here's the other one. And it's cool to kind of see the cracks in the metal just from that sudden shock of being hammered and struck so yeah really good details on this one you can see the individual beading and this is a nice owl as well so yeah i hope you enjoyed this um i should have prepared a little bit more facts for uh before i started filming but you know here we are. Let's see if they'll fit there. They will. I'm just little plastic holders there. Cool. Well, this is Kevin with Imagination Hobbies signing off. Uh, let me know if you have any coins, especially ancient coins. Go ahead and leave it in the comments of what coins you have, maybe what they're called. I'm always on the lookout for silver, Greek coins that are BC. 
Uh, I like, I don't know, I just like that era better. Um, I I have some Romans, like I have, you know, probably a page of Romans, like maybe nine or eleven Roman coins, but they don't seem to intrigue me as much. I think it's just because you have, um, you know, your Caesar or whoever on the front of the coin and they all are just kind of like in the same pose a bit. They all kind of look very similar. Um, there's less, I don't know, to me, there's just less originality and m mystery. And I really like these animals that you see on these Greek coins. And there's a little more intrigue, in my opinion. But this is Kevin with Imagination Hobbies signing off. Have a good day.